Hi everyone, we are just going to go over some common ABDL terms and acronyms and some of you may already know all of them and that's super cool. You can go ahead and skip this video, this week's video, and but there are quite a few people who don't know all the terminology and that's because they don't spend a lot of time online or in the community or talking to others in the community. Um, or I've met people who just aren't online that much and they might be a little bit older, like 45 plus, and they just really haven't explored that part, not of themselves, but of all these terms and th this lingo that we've adopted. The first thing with terms is, as Spacey Mako have always said, terms are just a placeholder for a conversation. So terms mean something differently to a lot of different people when it's open up to interpretation. I mean, there are some acronyms that are acronyms for a term. And yeah, as, as I said, um, when someone identifies with a term, you can go ahead and ask, what does that mean to them? Be once you're in that space to create that type of conversation or dynamic or potential dynamic with someone. So let's get to it. I guess the most popular one, and I've known, I've actually met real people that I've processioned with that did not know the first and most popular term, ABDL. Some people write that with a slash in between to separate the adult baby part versus the diaper lover part. And some people who may just identify as AB will just say AB and same with DLs. They're like, yeah, I'm DL. I'm only into this part. But it's, I guess, common acceptance that if you're in the sphere of age play, um, infantilism, adult babies, and into diapers, you kind of say ABDL all at once. So then there's also TBDL, which is toddler boy diaper lover, because they don't identify as a BB. <laughs> Age play, that is a very kind of encompassing term for anyone who chooses to play and be in a headspace in an age that is younger than their own. Infantilism. I, that was a very common word when I got into it in like the late 90s. And then I skipped all of like the 2000s. So I didn't know that that term had changed. And I would still use the word infantilism in a lot of like the, um, I need a mommy descriptions and stuff like that. But um, that term has fallen out of favor in recent years. So I still see it here and there, but it, most people use the word AB, adult baby, or age play, or little. Um, DDLG and DDLB, daddy, dom, little girl, and daddy, dom, little boy. And of course, there's going to be a combination of a bunch of these you see here, like MDLB, MDLG. So MD, that's mommy dom versus daddy dom, of course, and little boy. Um, mommy dom little girl, daddy dom toddler boy, and mommy dom toddler boy. So any sort of mix of these, you can kind of figure it out after you know the general meaning of those, these three things. A CG stands for caregiver. And I had a funny story with this. I, um, I was using that acronym CG in an email with someone older that was a client and he thought it meant call girl. I was like, uh, no, <laughs> I am not a call girl. I am a caregiver. I mean, granted, he was AB. He, he was just older and didn't know that. So CGL would be caregiver little. And CGM is caregiver middle. So um, another term you might see here is top versus bottom. 
and I consider myself a top. I don't consider myself a mommy, so a top is just someone who plays the top role, as in the non-little role in the dynamic. And of course, a bottom, sub, submissive. I mean, not that all bottoms are submissive, but I'm just saying these two terms kind of coincide with each other. A and R. Any guesses on what this is? Any guesses? A and R. It is adult nursing relationship. Um, Say with A B R, adult breastfeeding relationship. And vanilla. Mm, that term means someone who is not A B D L or non kinky in general. I tend to not use that term vanilla because I don't believe that people are vanilla. There are many, many fetishes, a plethora of fetishes from literally everything you can think of. So I just call non-ABDL people non-ABDLs, but that's a lot of syllables. So vanilla is just easier sometimes. A big is someone who plays the big age, their own age, their own adult age. Middle is someone who is not a baby, maybe bigger than a toddler, and is in the in-between ages. In-between meaning anywhere from five, six to teen or preteen, usually preteen. Uh, little is just someone who is little, <laughs> who is not a big who's an age player and identifies with a younger age than their chronological age. And of course, little space is when their head space is in that uh, frame of mind of their little age. Same with uh, baby space is, yeah, your, your, your head space is in that of someone much, much younger, from baby to toddler, and yeah, you're kind of just having fun in your own space. Baby furs. Baby furs are furries who enjoy age playing as well. They can be baby furs, little furs, diaper furs, not not every age pl furry age player is into diapers, but some may be, and some may want to play a baby. And some furries may be DL, so they they can call themselves a diaper fur because they just enjoy wearing diapers. Sissy, short for sissification, usually in the context of forced feminization in the practice of DNS. DNS is domination and submission or kink subcultures. This is different from cross-dressing. Sissification is more along the lines of humiliation and being made to do it in a negative way. You may hear some younger sets of ABDLs use, use the word dips or dip and <laughs> and yeah it does mean diaper. Uh, it, it, diapy Die, 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 padding, these are all words for diaper. The landing zone, the landing zone is where your, it's like the front of the diaper, where your tapes go, where they, where your tapes land and they're taped to the actual diaper. So sometimes the landing zones, there's a plastic strip on there, so it's easier to close and reclose that. And sometimes there's not. Standing leak guards are the, oh geez, the elasticized pieces like that. <laughs> I'm the worst. The elasticized pieces that are in between your legs and that gather and prevent the urine or solids from escaping. Stuffer, booster, and doubler, those are all words for the same thing, which is a non-diaper padding. It could be long and rectangular, or it could be kind of shaped like a diaper. And some of them have sticky stuff in them, and you just put them inside your diaper, inside your diaper so it can hold more wetness. 
checks are a disposable under pad that you can use during changes and Roomba panties <laughs> that word cracks me up Roomba panties are usually used for feminization or sissies and it is like satin usually satin panties that have ruffles on the butt pacifier there's lots of words for that passy binky dummy or soother I like absolutely none of those <laughs> maybe binky binky out of all four is my favorite so let's go into X when I hear people misuse the word mess for wet that bugs the crap out of me I don't know if it does for you but it does for me and it kind of shows like hey this person doesn't really know the lifestyle usually I the only times I've heard it being misused is when fake mommies or people who aren't lifestyle ABDL mommies they're like trying to get into it like they might be doms or something else and then they'll talk about messy diapers when they're actually talking about wet diapers <laughs> so wet is of course wet like urine and mess is solids like poop binge and purge oh dear a lot of people have binged and purged and no I am not referring to the very serious eating disorder Binge and purge in ABDL is when you overindulge in diapers and or age play and then you feel guilty about it and you can't really handle it and you get rid of everything as in you toss it out. I know so many people who have done that and I have been purged on a lot and that's actually how I got most of my stuff inside my nursery is through other people purging their stuff when they feel guilty when they want to try and date normally or quote lead a normal lifestyle and not have this all-encompassing fetish that consumes so much of their time which is a whole other topic on its own uh, dark age play it's within adults consenting adults and it involves sex and other sexual acts um, maybe a top or a mommy or a babysitter taking advantage of the little and other types of role play and elements that would be inappropriate if the little age match the chronological age oh yeah that, does that make sense okay I think we went over headspace already and that is the frame of mind consistent with the mood and role of um, of that person's little identified age or age range 24 7 is way exactly what it is all the time no breaks no potty breaks because you're wearing your potty and a switch is someone who can switch between the top and the bottom role or the big and the little role other community terms that I've seen a lot of people asking on YouTube or on other social media platforms uh, pro versus life lifestyle so I was pro and also lifestyle so that means I Pro meaning um, I was a professional I accepted money in exchange for um, babysitting services and I was also lifestyle meaning this is what I do this is oh, the fetish I engage in all the time in my life um, I started out lifestyle and then pro and then pro and lifestyle and now I'm just lifestyle <laughs> and this isn't an ABDL term this is like a, a kink term because people can be pro in lots of different things DPF DPF stands for a diaper pale friends and it used to be diaper pale fraternity 
but then they changed it to friends to make it more inclusive towards women and not just men. But I am going to do a, a whole DPF retrospective next. So IG usually means Instagram. Fet or Fet Life is FetLife.com. And a munch is uh, not an ABDL term. They're, they have BDSM munches, rope munches, furry munches, and a munch is a kink term. And it is a casual meetup in a public place, usually an eating establishment, a casual eating place of some sort, where people can just come, drop in, and meet other people with similar interests. Uh, so it's not a play party. A play party is a closed environment at a non-public location like either someone's house or a dungeon or other type of rented space uh, where it's the public isn't there and you can wear whatever you want, wear whatever gear you want, and meet people, chat, and also do some play. Play meaning like Little's play or role play or... I think we covered pretty much everything. If you have any other terms that you remember and I did not, please just comment below um, with the term and the meaning. And I'll see you next week. Bye.